Well, hello. Welcome. The topic is be prepared for UCS 5.0. In this presentation, I will give you some overview of the technical changes that UCS 5 implies. My name is Avid Rikwater. I've been with Univention for more than 10 years as a, uh, a developer. Let's get started with the foundation. In UCS 5, we have made so many changes to the foundations uh, than um, more than ever before. And my recollection goes back to UCS 2, 2, 0, uh, to 3.0. So that was a big uh, change already, but in uh, 5.0, we uh, modified a lot of, uh, of the foundations. UCS 5 is based on Debian uh, 10 Buster. The, um, uh, uh, we're using Python 3 now. We have modernized the structure of the package repository and will publish uh, UCS 5 with the latest Zamba version. On top of that, we um, got rid of uh, some uh, outdated features, outdated aspects in order to have more options for um, innovation. I'll get back to that later. We've had some structural improvement behind the scenes. The implementation of the portal is based on a more modular concept, allows more uh, uh, portal instances, multiple uh, por uh, portal instances, uh, for instance, for different target groups. It offers uh, some potential, different potentials. Uh, for one thing, we're thinking of separating the portal from the UMC server, so uh, you can operate different systems. Uh, then the portal can be authenticated by OpenID Connect or can uh, authenticate the client via OpenID Connect. And last but not least, our idea is that the UMC modules will also be um, capable of being embedded into the portal. Something, some words on the legacy aspects. As announced, UCS 5 will only be only be available for the 64-bit um, architecture. So a 32-bit master needs to be migrated um, to a 64-bit uh, system prior to update. That is possible via a swing migration, for instance, by using a, um, joining a, a 64 backup uh, to s replace the master. We're also getting rid of smaller components. Just let me um, give an example, Univention Java, Univention Bacula as a backup um, solution because there are better solutions in the App Center. One of the apps or one of the components that we part with uh, with a heavy heart is the Univention Virtual Machine Manager, i.e. the graphical user interface to start virtual machines, etc. Snapshot them, etc. Then some apps will no longer be continued. Um, one of them being the Horde web mailer. mailer. Then the XRDP, the remote access to Windows systems, for instance, the KDE desktop, and Nagios. Nagios will be replaced by a combination of Grafana, Prometheus, and Alert Manager with the aim of integrating uh, the monitoring into uh, the dashboard and uh, extend the alerting, the alert features. The structure of UCS5, or the build of UCS5, um, had a lot of challenges for us. First of all, updating to Python 3. 
taking into consideration compatibility with UCS 4.4 systems. Um, secondly, we put a lot of time into the modification of the package uh, repository structure, giving a, a better performance uh, in downloading packages and package structures. The third challenge that I would like to mention is the change of focus that we uh, experienced during the pandemic. Schools, for instance, uh, as we heard earlier, have additional need for remote work uh, rather than um, classical on-premise Windows clients. So some um, scaling and performance adjustments were necessary. And that, of course, ties up some development resources. Let me get back to the first aspect, the first challenge. Python 3 now is finally running on um, Python 3.7. So it encompasses the base modules, uh, Univention Config Registry, and UDM modules, as well as all primary services such as UMC, uh, the connectors, and the App Center. In this context, um, compatibility uh, to UCS 4.4 systems is ensured. That is a challenge because via the LDAP, we need to distribute UDM extensions that are installed in the domain, uh, i.e. Python uh, program code, that's UDM modules, UDM um, syntax extensions, um, UDM hooks. Um, I'll get back to what that means. For a soft uh, transition, uh, Python 2.7 is uh, supported. Um, for instance, with uh, Python Samba, this is not possible because uh, Python uh, Samba requires Python 3.7. Now let me uh, explain uh, what that means for uh, ISVs. And then I'll speak about what it means for admins. Prior to update, any um, app installed using UDM extensions must be updated to specify whether it's uh, compatible with uh, Python 3 or not. It must be checked for a uh, compatibility. That's done uh, via the uh, UCS version um, and there's two uh, options here, two possibilities. I may uh, determine that Python, uh, that my um, system is compatible with Python 3 and Python 2, so uh, it will be uh, valid uh, for the entire uh, family of apps if it's if my module. Can it be made Python 3 compatible? And be it only for lack of time, then I can use LDAP uh, extensions um, to uh, call up uh, USC version 4499 um, um, components. Then users will know that's not for me, but others can use it. If you don't use any of these two variants, then the update is either blocked or Later, the join of such a, a system that uh, tries to register um, a module that doesn't that has no such compatibility would also need to migrate it uh, for uh, Python 3. Uh, the listener modules and the UCR templates, um, but the latter, it's usually only text uh, files or a variable needs to be entered, but there are more complicated um, UCR templates where code is uh, executed. So UCR only works with Python 3 now. If you take a look at the listener modules, then experience of the last few weeks and months shows that the most frequent adjustment uh, 
seems to be uh, in the field of encoding and decoding in the LDAP or from the LDAP, the data uh, are read out in an encoded uh, fashion, um, either ASCII or UTF-8 for um, encoding. Um, Python 3 uses Unicode. And if you try to combine, concatenate them, um, you run into problems. If you try to compare them, um, there's always uh, a, a false response. So you have to be sure to make it right. So we'll probably include um, some um, indications, some hints in our uh, developer guide. What does the transfer to Python 3 mean for administrators? Before update of the primary directory code, all joint UCS systems need to be updated at least to 446. Not all apps will be available on the day of their release. Most Docker apps will be uh, available, for instance, Nextcloud, OwnCloud, Open it, connect, um, or WordPress. Some apps will be uh, released shortly after the um, uh, UCS 5 update. Um, that probably applies for the UCS at school, um, according to current planning. Those are the uh, changes resulting from Python 3. Let's move a level up. In the UCS 5 building, one of the frequent UCS components, um, I enter a domain controlled Samba. UCS 5.0 updates Samba to uh, version 4.13 instead of, uh, well, yesterday it would have been 4.13.4. Uh, this new Samba update, we're updating from 4.10 to 4.13, uh, uh, comes with improvements uh, in terms of scaling uh, for large environments. I indicated some figures here um, that the Samba team uh, indicates in their release notes, 100,000 users and 100,000 computers, so that's the Ballpark, ballpark figure here. Also, Samba switches to a pre fork process model. Um, that is uh, familiar from the Apache web server. And the um, RBC call is faster because a process doesn't have to be um, used, which is relatively expensive. Also, the replication um, between Samba DCs and the LDAP uh, search uh, is more efficient. Uh, this is uh, made possible by enabling um, small or equal to and uh, larger or equal to comparisons. So you can uh, make easy comparisons. Also, memory uh, requirement for LDAP um, search has been significantly uh, re reduced. Also, in terms of security, there are um, significant improvements. Um, if you l look at Twitter, um, um, MB1 has uh, been um, discontinued, and also Samba has uh, deactivated it as a default. The second uh, security relevant aspect is that the uh, Samba Kerberos uh, key doesn't under. Uh, doesn't support any DS keys, DS keys, um, but only DS hashes. In the back end, there are still data there. That's required by the Microsoft data structure. And 
uh, covers uh, KDC, simply ignores it. Damit komme ich zu Änderungen, die der Benutzer direkt zu Gesicht bekommen wird. This takes me to the uh, changes that users can actually see. As already announced, we changed it, uh, uh, we changed the wording from master slave to primary backup and replica, replica directory node. Directory node because all these systems have their own directories and then we have primaries, backups and replicas as naming conventions uh, indicating whether you can write. Uh, primaries can be written into, uh, backup can take, uh, take over um, data from the primary and replica is taking over the name um, of the um, previous naming convention. And then there are easier uh, adjustments, um, adjustment options. We heard Mr. Stoiber mention it already. Um, there is the possibility of theming. So by default, a dark and light theme is made available. But this can be easily adjusted uh, through a single CSS file, which um, applies to all web interfaces. Then um, there is the possibility of creating a folder structure for the portal or via the portal, and there's a possibility of embedding apps. I have some streamcasts here. In the first one, we can see um, the portal in the dark theme. Um, when logged on to the portal, you can see the apps available to him or her, and the app the app is shown um, in an embedded way via tabs at the tabs at the top. You can um, switch between apps as is uh, commonplace today. The second screenshot shows a detail that my, uh, may have been overlooked um, before, the structuring of via portal folders. So there is a, a folder called apps and another folder called documentation. And you can just click on it, and then the apps available in this category will, uh, op will be displayed. And I just click on the background and jump back to uh, the initial screen. That takes me to the plans for the uh, UCS5 series. Right after the release, the focus will be on updating pending apps and releasing them. Then we have um, on our wish list to revise the printing solutions and to modernize the driver management. Uh, buzzword here is driverless uh, printing, or it's also called printing everywhere. For UCS um, 5, we have more plans for 5.1. We have plans already updating to Debian 11, Bullseye. Python 2 support will be discontinued with um, UCS 5.1. Uh, bottom line, that means that all systems will be required to have version um, of UCS 5.0 level by then. On this, I would like to thank you for your attention. I would like to give the floor back to the facilitator and um, open the floor to questions.